Hey everybody, Akiris here. Welcome to The Long Dark, life number 8, episode number 4. Alright, so I just went ahead and slept for one hour here just to save the game while I went and watched my uh, Sunday football. And uh, yeah, Browns won, man. Wow, what a good what a good game that was. Man, kickoff, or uh, uh, extra point, not an extra point, field goal. <laughs> field goal for the win. So, that was pretty awesome. Sorry if you guys were, uh, if I spoiled that for anybody. Should have probably said something to begin with, but, uh, oh well. There's not that many of us uh, Browns fans out there, so I doubt I spoiled it for anybody, actually. Alright, um... Let's see here. Okay, we are starting to get a little bit hungry, so we found the, uh... Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and eat that. We found our, uh... Secret hatch. Prepper hatch. And, uh... We definitely need to uh, get a little bit of rest... Oh, maybe not. I think, yeah, well, you know what? If it's decent outside, which it's a little windy. Uh, the cold came down a little bit. I think we'll head back to the uh, camp office. And maybe we'll scavenge for some food on the way. So I'm going to take this water bottle, even though it's unsafe. And uh, this one. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, what is our weight at? 53. I think I'll scavenge for some wood here. Take it back to the camp office with me real quick. So let's go ahead and forge here for like one hour. Burns up a bunch of calories, unfortunately. I have no idea. I have no idea how Lord Master uh, Gamer actually got 50 days out of this, but uh, with this new system, I have no idea how he could do that. Here's our crafting, uh, little crafting bench. So, crafting will be introduced later on for those people that are pretty new to the to my gameplay. All right. Uh, ooh, hopefully it's not too cold outside. I have a feeling it might be. Pretty nasty out there. But we shall see. Well, the last two Browns games both came down to field goals. One helped the Browns win, the other one's helped them lose. So, hey, uh, you know, at least they're staying competitive a little bit. That's, that's sort of a first. Kind of glad they're not just throwing Manziel to the Wolves out there also. Because uh, seems like that's been their their style. They've they'll get a fancy new quarterback and then they'll completely ruin him. You know they did that with Brady Quinn. He's supposed to be the answer to everything. And the problem is you just can't take uh, a team that doesn't really have a system established. And then oh, there goes. Uh, I thought that was a person running there for a second. I'm like, did they introduce something that I just did not know about? Let's go ahead and harvest the meat here. I'm gonna grab some hide. Maybe repair my shoes when I get back to the uh, camp also. There we go. We might get a little chilly here. The cold might get to us, I think. I never did check to see what the temperature was. Oh, it's 29 degrees. Wow, it's almost... This is like perfect running about weather. But yeah, I mean, you just can't take a new quarterback and throw him into a team that's in... that's kind of disheveled and expect some rookie out of college to you know, be the answer. I always thought what they needed to do was get a veteran quarterback with maybe two or three good years left. Uh, and uh, then also have a nice, you know, young quarterback to uh, to learn from that veteran quarterback. And for the next two or three, basically what they did with uh, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. That was like the perfect situation for quarterback development. And now look at Aaron Rodgers. Man, Arian Foster, wow. I was a little skeptical about drafting him because of his injuries last year, but wow. He really turned it on today. He did good. He's actually done pretty well for me. I still have uh, I still have his his, uh, his backup running back, the number two running back. I need to find food. Just in case Arian Foster gets hurt. I have, So I have his handcuff ready to go, but I've been pretty impressed with him, and I have... Uh, LaShawn McCoy, who apparently gives crap tips, but is a pretty good football player. But uh, I have him playing tomorrow, Monday Night Football. And I'm, a, I'm in the lead against the guy I'm playing against tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got... I can't remember who he has from... 
he has one of the players from Indianapolis, and I have LaShawn McCoy. And uh, I'm in the lead overall with the points so far. So I should. Where can I find something to eat? I should win. I should win, but uh, not getting my hopes up for sure. All right. Still good weather. Eh, it's got a little cooler, but still not too bad. Should definitely make it back to camp all this. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try to basically survive as long as I can by. Oh, here, this looks like a fresh kill. Ooh. Oh yeah. Hopefully, it's... I don't think it's just sleeping. I don't think it's just sleeping. Uh, yeah. All right. It's eight percent hide. And what's the meat at? Jeez, all the meats at eight percent. Wow, but look, it's like so the meat is really almost rancid but the uh the amount that's on there is like a lot so it wasn't actually fed on it it almost looks like it died of natural causes it's, hmm I'm, I'm sort of like the deer coroner over here but uh, we're going to definitely take time to uh, harvest this hopefully this meat doesn't poison me two hours and 39 minutes oof i don't know my condition's good we can get enough meat off of this to make it worthwhile Thirsty, freezing, starving. Okay, there we go. Hi. Hurts a bit, but I'll make it. Wow, we got lots of ailments. <laughs> Everything's in the red, for the most part. We're encumbered, but we don't have that far to go, so I'm not too worried about it. And I should. Ooh, I don't have a flare in my inventory. This could get dangerous. I gotta keep an extra eye out here for uh, Fluffy. Too much stuff to carry. Yeah, no kidding, man. I upped his uh, voice a little bit, since I don't plan on starving too. Too much. That being said, look at the look at my screen. Obviously, I'm starving. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! This might not go good. I'm gonna have to fight him. I think he's gonna attack me. Oh yeah, he's gaining on me. Yep. Oh my god! One percent health. Oh, first aid. First aid. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I died seven minutes in. Oh. <laughs> That's what I that is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh man, I had 1% ah, health. I just couldn't fight him off. I got greedy with that huge amount of meat on that deer. Oh, okay, let's just start a new game here. Let's start life number. Life, what are we on? Life number nine? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and start a new game here. Oh. Nine days, though. Not too bad. At least he found the, uh... <laughs> oh, that was horrible. I survived for less than one minute. It's 14 degrees. We started up here at the... I think we are at the, uh... Yeah, we're at the, uh... Frozen Creek here. Oh, man, I just got greedy. Alright, this is gonna be a marathon life, so if you guys aren't interested in watching me try to play this as efficiently as possible, do a lot of sleeping when I don't need to be moving about, that sort of thing, uh, you probably don't want to watch this life, that's all I'm saying, but I'm going to try to survive as long as possible with this one. Um, I can understand how that would get boring for some people, because they want me to be out and exploring, but uh, honestly, once you find the hatch, uh, you know, the really only other thing left to do uh, in the sandbox is to survive as long as possible. Oh, man. My my pulse is actually jacked up a little bit from that. I knew he was going to catch me. when I, I never have ever had it where I was encumbered and slowed down like that. And uh, what I should have done was as soon as he growled, I should have just tried to ditch all my stuff as fast as possible. I don't know if I could have shed enough weight, though. I doubt if I would have been able to do that in time. Man, if I would have just had a couple more percentage points for health, I think I could have bandaged myself up, took the antibiotics, and uh, maybe made it inside. Maybe I was so close to being safe, but... Oh, man. That was interesting. I've never had that, though, where I'd been slowed down and had a wolf actually catch up to me because I couldn't walk any faster. Hey man, there's always new and interesting ways to die here. I think I've, I've I've died in many many ways, and I probably have only touched the tip of the iceberg. I'm sure there are many more. Got a 
I'm seeing the dead guy here. I'm seeing the frozen carcass here. I'm going to leave that frozen carcass be for now. Just leave it frozen. That's fine. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just put my death and, and the start of this life all as life number nine, episode one. It's kind of it'd be kind of silly to release a seven-minute video of me just dying real quick. What have we here? Oh, what time is it? it? Feels like it's dark. Yeah. Oh, it started me out pretty late. Now I'm gonna check my old area up there. See if that maybe the uh, random spawn hatch location is gonna be up in the same area. God, I can't believe I died. You guys are gonna hear me talk just randomly say that out loud about every. Uh, about every uh, two or three minutes, I think. I'm still kind of in shock about it. Okay, so I think there was those branches down there. I think it was up here was where it was. So we'll check, see if it's up here. We'll see exactly how random it actually is. All right, I think it was down here, actually, but I'm not seeing it now. I hope it's pretty random. That's all I can say. I hope it's like on the other side of the map. That would be nice. I think maybe it was up here. I'm not sure. Regardless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... As soon as I get done checking up here, I'm going to head over to Trapper Homestead. I don't feel like it was this high up on the mountain face. I don't know. I guess it could be, right? Before. Yeah, I don't think I could see down to the unnamed pond, which is right down there. Oh no. So I'm thinking about maybe introducing another game into the mix, into the rotation here. And I have a couple of them that I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Shelter, the, or whichever one, about you being a, I don't know what it is, a freaking honey badger or beaver or something like that. Uh, and, and you basically have to protect your, your little ones. Uh, as you wander through the wild. That game looks pretty good, and I mean, they're making a second one where you're actually a Lynx, and the graphics on it are kind of like this. They have a real stylized sort of graphics to it. And the other one that someone mentioned, and they mentioned it a while back, and then they reminded me of it in the comments in uh, one of the, like one of the last couple episodes was Darkwood. So I'm thinking about doing Darkwood also. They said it would fit with my survival theme, it looks maybe a little bit like a horror game, but it also, uh, that's with an H, not with a WH. And, uh, but it, at the same time, it, it looks like it does have significant amount of survival, like, tactics to it. Um, like scavenging and trying to, you know, keep your, worrying about your, your overall health with food and things like that. I haven't done a lot of looking into Darkwood, but I'm just wondering what your guys' thoughts are. So, if you guys want to weigh in. Let me know. Um, I'm, the Long Dark is going to be my primary game, obviously, but just to mix it up a little bit. Uh, let's see if there's a dead guy down there. I think that there is. Not this time. Sometimes there's a dead guy down here. Doesn't look like there is this time. All right, let's 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 head on over to our... Uh, just a dead deer. That's all I'm seeing down there right now. All right. So, just let me know. Uh, what do you think? Shelter? Um, not to be confused with the game that I uh, previewed. It's coming out early next year called Sheltered, as in past tense. Family comes first. That's the one where you're in a uh, doomsday prepper bunker. Uh, kind of looks like um, Papers, Please, a little bit. And it's 8-bit bit graphics style. This, uh, this is actually about surviving as an actual wild animal. Um, or Darkwood. So, let me know. Weigh in in the comments, let me know. But, you know, anytime... Oh, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. back, back. Anytime there's going to be a significant... Uh, update or anything like that, you know, I'm going to definitely try to keep a life, at least one life uh, per week for the long dark going. And when, if I do have free time, I'll, I'll, I'll play the secondary game a little bit here and there. I'm thinking I'm just going to buy them both and then test them out also. And uh, if I decide that you guys are wrong with your comments, I'm just going to overrule you after playing them. But uh, 
you know, uh, I do take the, uh, consider oh, nice, a rifle. All right, cool. It's not always there, 71%. That's a good find. Ammo, too, it's not always there, too. also. Can opener? Oh, 92 on a can opener? These are all pretty good. I think I want to leave those for now. Cherry can. I can't open that yet. Reclaim the wood. Take the bandage, take the antiseptic. Simple tools. Take the accelerant. I'm going to try to be smarter about food. Oh, do I have a magnifying glass? Oh, that's, that's like huge. I can actually start fires outdoors. As long as it's uh, partly cloudy or uh, clear. And it doesn't degrade or anything. It's like free fire attempts. So what I should probably do is... If I can make a bunch of tinder, I can use this to just practice leveling up my fire starting skills. I'm gonna, Maybe I'll do that. Hmm. Of course, fire starting skills never seem to be that hugely That'll important. That'll come in handy. But uh, if I'm ever outside and I definitely need to start fires, I'll be using that magnifying glass and that extra flare. Always good to have. Nothing? Oh, struck out on that one. Cloth, of course. We got the beef jerky. We got the soda pop. And we got a knife. Hunting knife. All I right. Use this. All right, guys. You know the drill. You need to hit like, otherwise I chop you up in a clown suit. Just how I roll. All right. Let's grab these. Mm. <sighs> Why is he yawning? I don't get that. Not that. It's not even. It's like. I guess it is starting to get, become nighttime, but I'm really not that tired. Because I kind of got a light, late start. I, I got a late start when I uh, crashed my plane at that particular moment in time. Alright, here. Here we go. Alright, guys. I'm looking for another good book to read. I'm reading one right now. It's okay. It's not as good as One Second Later. Or one second after. That book was just amazing in a very terrifying way. So I'm looking for suggestions. I'm looking for like a survival, wilderness survival style book. Alright, so that was like six. I think we were right around 50, right? Right there. Yep, yeah, okay. So again, uh, maybe suggest which game I should play and then uh, a book I should read also. More rifle ammo. Very good. I keep wanting to grab that MRE because it's just sitting there, but no. Keep your hands to yourself. Gotta take the jerry can. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Gotta take the jerry can because there's no guarantee there's gonna be one at the camp office. Um, I think we're good. Oh wait, let's check the first aid kit. Uh, almost forgot about that. Normally that's the first thing I check when I come in here. Sewing kit. All right. I had a, I had a little bit of a tough time finding a sewing kit in uh, Life 8. Oh! <laughs> Apparently it's not, it's a non-issue in uh, Life 9. As I like to say, that was quite fortuitous. Alright, let's get moving. Let's get over to camp office. Man, this is just this is a great place to go hunting, I guess. If you're going for deer. Let me check here, see if we got any. What's our inventory at? 52. If we got any firewood in here, we can definitely pick it up. Okay, nothing here. I was checking there, but there's never anything there. It's just frozen at. Let's check this stays there the stats. So 65. Alright, there's only 1.6 pounds of meat left on there. Oh, that's pretty horrible. Whoa, that was kind of freaky. Just a deer charging me out of the darkness. I don't think I've ever really gone out that much at night. Like this. There's probably a good reason, because it gets pretty freaking dark. Yep, and there we go. It's going to be kind of hard to see wolves. if we can see the northern lights. Oh, looks like maybe. Okay. This might be very pretty once we get up here. 
probably turn this off just for the just to appreciate the beauty of the uh, of the world here oh yeah very pretty it's almost Can't it's it's hands. almost worse with the light on I feel like I can't see out past yeah I feel like I can't see out past the uh, lantern at all yeah this is kind of tough actually oh yeah we're gonna go this way I am a little bit discombobulated here. Pretty sure this is the way I need to go. There's a wolf out there. I can see him. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. This feels like the right general direction. Oh, I see green eyes right there. You see that? Look over there to the left of the screen. Green eyes, that's why I call them green eyes. Okay. Might have to switch over to a flare here in a minute. I know we had a wolf over there to the right. I could see the silhouette slightly. I saw the one or to the right, and then I, I know I could see the green eyes from that one to the left. That was kind of creepy. We should be coming up on the tracks here, I think. Yep, this feels about right. Wow, that was that was kind of a challenge there. I got a little off course. I came out on the wrong side of those rocks. I should have come out over there. But uh, it all worked out. Yeah, I'm really close to the tunnel, actually. Well, might as well. Yeah, might as well check the tunnel while we're here. I don't think wolves typically come up this far. Now, I know that might change in the near future. But... Uh, won't go into too much detail on that. It's a little confidentiality stuff, I think. So, all right, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. Very good. I hear a wolf. I hear a wolf, wolf of a wolf. All right. should be a should be a uh, yeah there it is a little metal container here oh that was a good find all right let's get moving let's get over to the camp office Yeah, I don't really like going out at night. I don't think I'm going to be doing this again. That, that felt a little uh, careless doing what I just did. So I I think I'm going to get lucky, but hey, things could have went pretty bad for us there. And we had a pretty good start as far as starting gear goes. I mean, we, we found some pretty, uh, like the rifle's in good condition, that can opener's in good condition. Those are things that you really don't want to sacrifice if you can help it. Goddamn freezing. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'll just keep, I'll keep a flare out in case I need it. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure that I had it in my hand. In case I hear the, in case I have to do battle here with the, there, no, that's a deer, I think. I want to be sure about that. Yeah, it's a deer. I feel like I want to run straight into him. God, this is tough to see. Let's just go in the side door. Wow. That was... I gotta tell you, I was a little bit on edge there. Oh, you know what? We're de gonna definitely need that. I don't know why I'm... Why I'm turning that off. We're in a septic. Newspaper rolls. Of course. Leave that be here for now. Leave that for now. Sneaky beans? Ah, 
No luck. No joy. Leave that mountain soda. Carl. What's going on? Buddy, what you got for me today? You are the one certainty in this uh, uncertain world, Carl. I appreciate that. That's exactly what you want in a friend. You want your friends to uh, not argue with you too much, and you want them to be uh, I'm gonna need to rest dependable. Soon. All right. Here we go. Wow, that's a lot of good stuff. Um, jeans to uh, leave that there. I'm gonna actually drop my clothes. Let's see here, what? Wow, I got a lot of clothes. Last time I was really hurting for clothes. And that one's at 97%. Jeez. I'm doing pretty good. 96%? Wow. I have a feeling this might be a good opportunity to make a... Wow, 91, 98, 65. Wow. I have a feeling this might be a good life to attempt a long run with. With the amount of clothes that we're finding. And the amount of cloth and sewing kits wool socks I mean I don't have any socks do I no okay I'll probably save those for later though because because I think I have enough clothes to keep me warm enough then we'll sweater whatever yeah okay we'll keep the rest of that stuff uh, you know what we'll do this in the morning a little hungry not too bad we'll, uh, we'll eat some uh, whatever's our worst stuff here Get some calories on board just to make it through the night. Should have enough water. I do have enough water. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's get let's get our nap in here. Did I drink? No. Need to do that. Very good. Very good. Well, this is definitely a, a promising start. It's going to, I think it's going to depend on how easily I find the uh, hatch. If I can burn a minimal amount of calories before I find the hatch, I think that will definitely help us for long-term survival. All right, let's get a drink. Now we just need to do some basic housekeeping here, which will probably take up most of the day. And then maybe we'll go down and check out the lake houses. And you know the... Uh, we'll probably... Head over to the dam. I'm trying to think. Uh, hatchet would be nice to get. Uh, a couple places I can get that. More than likely. All right. Well, let's see here. Tools. I oh, won't put in your sewing kits. Very good. It's two pounds. Probably just put that on the floor. Keep that magnifying glass for sure. All right. That looks pretty decent. I don't mind having three flares actually. A good can opener. Good hunting knife, good rifle, good tools. I mean, yeah, this feels like it might be a good, good opportunity for a good run. All right, so let's see what we can drop here. Uh, we don't need to be carrying the hunting rifle everywhere, or the jerry can. You know what? Let's load up that hunting rifle though first. We can go ahead and throw all 10 rounds in there without any worries. All right. There we go. What else can we drop? We'll drop that wood over to the side. Simple tools. Yeah, we'll drop some simple tools here. Alright. Uh, simple tools, I think. Probably. Our weight's getting down there, so that's not too bad. Basic winter coat. I'll definitely be wearing that when I go outside. See how much food I have to give Carl here. Oh, that grape soda isn't everything's in pretty good condition. Wow. 
even the stuff that isn't in the best condition is in still pretty decent condition. Alright, I'm thinking we'll give Carl those too. I'm wondering where they're going to screw with me. Because there's got to be some resource that they're going to be cheap with me. It's the only thing that I'm kind of worried about. I mean, I got the magnifying glass. I got extra matches already. So far, it's pretty good. I got reclaimed wood and extra cedar wood. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's boil up some water. Come on, baby. All right. My stove is starting on the first attempt. There's got to be something that waiting, lurking for me. In the shadows, just waiting to get me. Let's add a reclaim to the fire. And we'll boil up some water. Get a good amount of it. Get a week. Oh, you're going to be okay. Don't you worry. Got an MRE with your name on it. Well, the uh, the hype surrounding the game has been pretty pretty fun to watch. Just uh, you know, every day I, I come on and I uh, look for new people doing the first looks and whatnot, and there's always somebody pretty big name doing a first look. So I've got like a net flying around my my face right now. It's kind of annoying. All right, that should do it. All right, so I have a little bit of unsafe water. We'll go ahead and drop that first. Get get that out of our hands. Poisoned myself more than once by accidentally drinking the wrong type of water. There we go. I think we'll yeah, we'll just start with this. This is a good start. Oh man, I thought I was gonna have the gnat here for a second. <laughs> we'll just like if you hear the mic get knocked and you hear a loud smack, it's me trying to swat it in that. So just disregard if you hear that. If I get it, I'll let you know. Keep you posted. If you just hear me cussing or something like that, it probably means I broke something in the process. Uh, wait, material. That's what I want. Let's drop the firewood here. Okay, oh, cloth. Cloth will go in here. There we go. Let's make some tinder plugs. Creatures of habit. That's <laughs> I am a creature of habit, man. Kind of kind of get things set up the same way. It seems to work pretty well. Figure if it's not broke, I'm not going to try to fix it. So my initial setup for these is pretty standard. Let's double check, make sure nothing's going to wear out. Oh my gosh, everything is like almost almost everything's over 50% except for this. That's incredible, man. And I saved the best stuff for later on. So that's my worst items that I'm actually, that I have in my inventory right now. That's crazy. All right, let's do a uh, newspaper roll. Do all of those. Very good. All right. Let's drop. Okay, okay. Man, it's like a like a really uh, manly Tamaguchi pestering me here. Tinder plugs. There we go. Very good. I think four of those should be suffice. Let's have some. Let's have some food. I don't think I need to do anything right now that I really don't want to waste the calories on. I think I'm pretty good. Did I check this? No, I didn't check that yet. We'll put that back. We'll take that. And I'm good enough. Okay. Mm. I could forge for some wood right now. 
That might be a good use of time. I think that's what I'll do. Because my calories will max out at 1,500, I think. So we're almost there. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's forge. So we have some reclaimed wood waiting for us, just in case we get into an emergency situation where we're freezing and all that stuff. Sort of like what happened in, in the last life. I had like very low health. Did you notice the blur effect? I, I forgot to even mention that, but because I was too busy trying to freaking do a... I was playing Trauma in the ER, but uh, yeah, it was kind of cool. I liked the blur effect. That was sort of nice. All right. And I'm talking about when I was dying in the last life, when I had like 1% health. That was, that was some pretty... Oh, I didn't mean to put it right on top of cedar firewood, but I think it'll work. That looks like it'll be just fine. Okay. Six reclaimed wood. That's good to have sitting here. And I think we can go ahead and head out. There should be wood that we that pick up later. Drink his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. <laughs> uh, nothing like a Bear Grylls reference. Oh, and then we have this down here also. Okay. Let's get moving. We're going to pick up some more firewood while we're, while we're out, more than likely. Okay. 93%. Let's get a drink. Yeah, we got plenty of water. Got plenty of calories if we need them. So we're in pretty good shape. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hit the MRE before our condition gets too low. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, I almost forgot to check for our dead guy over here. I heard the birds in it. That sort of reminded me. Some beef jerky. Oh yeah. Is the hatch going to be in this life? That's the big question. That is the big question. Come on, man. I just put an MRE in your belly. Maybe it's a little bit of IBS. That's probably it. I'm running for the lake outhouse here. Two wolves are here. Looks like there will be a body in front of that fishing uh, hut. Let's make sure that this is all. Okay. What's the temperature at? 11 degrees? Hmm, so far this has been a pretty forgiving start. Oh my gosh, the search is taking forever. Wood matches, awesome. Yeah, this is like a really good start. Move. I think there's a wolf on his way. Oh no, he's walking the other way. Okay. I love the sound of those uh, trees. Cracking due to the due to being frozen. Whenever I can actually see the wolf howling, I just <laughs> I have to stop and look. That is that's pretty cool. I definitely want to check back there in that little cave area. I think that would be a pretty brilliant spot for a prepper. Uh, prepper bunker or prepper cache. Alright, back here, let's check, hopefully, uh, some some good clothes and some good materials. I'll take food also, and MREs, sneaky MREs also. Flare, nice, beef jerky, wonderful, thank you, thank you. I am grateful. Okay, I didn't think that there was anything, that's it, yeah. Pretty sparse, actually. Let's 
some uh, reclaimed wood here. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm hoping for is a lot of cloth. I keep my clothes in a good state of repair. Quality winter coat, I think. Yep. Yeah, I kind of wish that would be randomized. I know it's always going to be there. There's still just a couple objects that you always know is going to be there. Looks like this has been here a while. More matches. Man, this is great. Even though those are cardboard matches, I don't care. I'll take them. We've got a bunch of matches. We're swimming in matches. Plus that magnifying gla glass. We're in pretty good shape when it comes to creating fire as far as uh, ignition source. So, very, very nice. All right. Oh, God. I, ugh, you guys know me and my feelings about the fog. I hate it. Probably not as bad as night, though. That night was... That was pretty brutal. No, it's not even close to being as bad as the night. Who am I kidding? Everything's looking pretty good. Fatigue's starting to get up there. Probably have to sleep a little bit here. What time is it? Yeah, it's like afternoon. Mid-afternoon. I've seen a wolf patrol back here before. That's why I'm a little cautious and I always swing pretty, pretty wide to the right there. Like I just did. I don't know if you guys remember that, but there's been times where I've come up over that hill, or I've cut the cut the corner, come up over that hill, and there's like a wolf going up the hill right back at me. The flare's good. Ooh, that's a score. What, we got 15 rounds now? And a nice rifle to use it. And I think our rifle had 76% condition, so we should be able to use all 15 rounds in that one rifle without even having to repair it. I wonder if you can repair the rifle. I've never tried that before. Hmm. Don't know how you can do that with simple tools. That definitely, at the very minimum, if it's not impossible, seems like it should require that workbench. All right. Nothing there. All right. What's our weight at? Forty-six. Still good. Still got twenty, twenty more pounds to pick up. I must say I was a little disappointed when Squirrel went into the uh, into the Hydra Dam and uh, didn't get attacked. I was like, oh no. I wanted to hear him start freaking out. Like, you want to complain about the crowbars? Here, take this. Bam. Sick him, Fluffy. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. But no, it didn't happen. Apparently that's one of those random things now. For firewood, awesome for crafting. When you find that hatchet, at least. Nothing down here, I'm not missing. Oh yeah, I almost missed this. Very good. Yeah, I think we can definitely make it over to the, uh, to the lone cabin here on the lake. I don't want to get too fatigued. That lesson is still fresh in my mind. I think what I'll do is I'll rest for about five hours. Get hydrated, get fed. And then uh, hopefully the fog's lifted by then. And we can hit through the uh, last two fishing huts. And uh, head on back to the cabin. And we'll assess our situation once we get back there, see see how things are going. As far as our clothes and things like that. They should be fine, man. They should be fine for like several days. Alright. Inventory weight is still doing very well. What? 
Oh, I thought there was like a box of rifle ammo. I thought that was a box of rifle ammo. Oh well. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I've missed anything. Okay, um, 240. Yeah, we can sleep for about three hours. Maybe knock our fatigue down just a little bit. Cold's fine. Hunger's fine. Well, I think I need to lay down. we can definitely eat something. Yeah, pork and beans. Breakfast of champions. There we go. That should help her. Check my thirst. That's fine, too. Oh, uh, yeah, let's sleep for three. Should, my condition should jump up here. Maybe get back to 100%. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, it's 100% for sure. Got plenty of that left. Light snow. I think we're going to be in good shape. Let's move out. Oh, yeah. 16 degrees. Yeah, the weather's being really nice to us in this life. This is just, like, too good to be true for a start. I mean, this is finding some extra rifle ammo, everything in good good repair, the weather helping us, making it through the dark without getting eaten by green eyes. Wow, what a beautiful evening sky. Okay, it looks like he's walking away. Oh wait, there's one right. Okay, he's not that close. But we don't want to mess around too much. Yeah, we want to get to his body as quick. I think we can search his body in time before this wolf gets to us. Yeah, we should... No, yeah, we're definitely going to be fine now. Rifle ammo, please. Eh, I'll take a flare. It's fine. A flare equals a few extra stakes, because you just have to watch for that wolf that takes down that big deer and have enough room in your inventory to load up on, like, 17 pounds, 18 pounds of meat. And a flare is basically as good as a rifle round. Antibiotics are going to become important too. That's what I kind of need to find is some more antibiotics, I think. Because here's the thing with antibiotics. I'm thinking if you can kill a wolf and pull off, you know, you know, 10 pounds or whatever meat from it, even though you might get, you're going to get injured during a fight. Uh, let's say you do hand to hand with it because you're out of rifle ammo. If you have antibiotics, you can treat that. You can pull off enough meat to recover, and then you'll have a bunch of meat left over also. So it's sort of like you end up with uh, a positive sum uh, during that type of a transaction. So I think that would be uh, antibiotics might be important later on when it comes to. Uh, which once you run out of rifle ammo and that sort of thing. Probably the same for antiseptic now because you can avoid the uh, infection risk. Alright. Head upstairs. Carl. Got some got some goodies for you, buddy. We'll keep these. Everything's in really good condition still. Wow. Alright. No, 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 no. Cancel that. Yeah, I'll put the beef jerky on Carl. Perfect. I think I picked up some extra cloth. A couple pieces, maybe. How many? Did I get any cloth? Yeah, I did get one. I got one piece. I thought I got more than that, but apparently not. Apparently not. Alright. Clothing. Uh, I forgot to put on my jacket, but I wasn't even close to being cold out there, so I guess I just avoided unnecessarily wearing it. 
I got the basic winter coat and the quality winter coat. Wow, and they're both in really good condition. So I think I'll leave the uh, quality. Yeah, we'll leave the quality winter coat here. There we go. We'll, we'll stick with the basic one. It's in it's in worse condition anyway. Man, that is that's awesome. Six point two degree Fahrenheit warmth bonus. That might be the best I've ever seen for a item that I've found. Can you eat trees? That's an odd, random question to ask. Especially since you have 26 calories left, you gluttonous bastard. Alright, um... What time is it? Six, I think we can, we can go ahead and forge for an hour inside. Let's do that. I think having a lot of firewood is going to become very, very important extremely far down the down the line because I think once my clothing all runs out, wears out, having that firewood I'm weak is going to basically save my butt. Okay, not much, but every little bit counts. Now there is a finite amount of firewood inside the uh, building here. I can't just keep doing this indefinitely. Eventually it'll just run out, but reclaimed wood let's drop the fire log up here there we go drop the fur firewood we're pretty good on firewood uh, we could probably cook up a little more water oh. hope nobody needs this anymore that's safe that's safe I think this one's safe also yep these two should be dangerous yeah unsafe unsafe Alright, um, it's starting to get late. Fatigue, hunger, I'll have a little something before I go to bed. Don't want to eat it right now, because I'm still going to be moving around a little bit. Um, yeah, I want to actually cook up this water, maybe a little bit more water. Yeah, let's do that. Seems like a good plan. You know what? Well, what's the temperature in here? 36? Let's let's ditch some of our clothing here. So we're not unnecessarily wearing it out. Uh, yeah, let's... Condition, okay. Let's go and drop that. And we'll drop that. And this is... Now we're starting to get into the stuff we're actually wearing. We can drop this. Uh, let's take our pants off. Run around in long underwear, boots, and gloves. That's gotta be a nice picture. Okay. Yeah, that should that should be fine. Oh wow, it's still 35 degrees. It's really warm in here. Can I go completely naked? Let's just do the long underwear. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. I will start to get slightly cold, but not enough to even cause an issue for us. Not even come close. But uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Let's see here. We got 35 plus 20. We got like 55 matches plus the magnifying lines. This is this is a hell of a good start. We got six accelerants. Actually, I don't need to carry six accelerants. That is a little that is a little heavy. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh, newspaper. I can make more tinder plugs too out of that. Wow. Uh, tool. I think that's what it's under, right? Accelerant. There we go. We got a bunch of flares too. I can drop like three of those flares. All right. So where should I put the flares? Desert. Hmm. So hungry. Over here. Is I keeping them over here? I don't know. They might be a little too heavy to keep over here. They're pretty heavy, but. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Very good. All right, let's cook some. Uh, let's cook some water. Let's do it. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end. Uh, Are you serious? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, he's a little rude with his interruptions, isn't he? All right, let's try again. Don't do this to me. See, I knew he was going to say something, so I wasn't even, I wasn't even going to try to finish my thought. What I'm going to say, I might as well just say it now before he interrupts again. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll cook up the water and get some sleep, and uh, we'll call that an end to uh, 
Life number nine, episode number one, but man, what a good start. I just hope I don't fall off a cliff or fall into a freaking pit again and uh, screw the whole thing up. Now, if we can find the uh, prepper cache, the secret prepper cache again, pretty quickly. Are you serious? Oh, gosh, not having much luck here, are we? All right, we'll try again. So much for having a ton of matches going through them pretty quick. I think with the 71, Don't do I this. think with a 71% chance, after four attempts, I'd be almost certain that I would have started it by now, but apparently not. I think if this one fails, I'm just going to use an accelerant. Okay. Didn't want to call my bluff. I don't think I can do that much. I don't think I even do that much. Let me grab another piece of wood here. Throw it on the fire. There we go. Yeah, we're getting pretty late. Late in the day here. Now it's the wee hours of the morning. Yeah, I see. I, I see that I'm starving. I see it. We'll get enough calories on board to recover when we go to sleep here tonight. I think it's going to work out good. We end up with a good amount of uh, water out of this whole deal. I think it'll be close to close to two two gallons, maybe. All right, we're dying. We don't get some food oh, soon. Don't be melodramatic. You survived the plane crash now. Don't go. Uh, don't go losing your man card now. 2.41 gallons. That's awesome. Because I was carrying around a little bit, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's just. Looks pretty good. Got a bunch of water on the ground. Things look good. Ready to go to bed. Let's get a little water in us. Have a little something to eat. And we will call that the end of life number eight. <laughs> Tragically. And um, the start of life number nine, episode one. So. How much do we have to eat for bed? I think we'll go with a grape soda. And we'll probably go with another. Oops. Another grape soda. And then some pork and beans. Probably need to probably need to go grab another can of something. Probably another can of pork and beans or whatever's whatever's looking kind of ripe that Carl has for us. There we go. Yeah, we only have 31 calories. I don't think that's one help us heal during the night. Exhausted. Yep. I am completely exhausted. Let's do condition. I'm going to save the jerky. I'm pretty sure that those are not wearing out. So we're in the 42, 45 with that jerky. I want to keep track of that. And I'll take that as well. Okay. Before you come to bed, right? That should do it. I think that'll make it make us through the night, uh, or see us through the night rather, and uh, get us back up to 100 with with no problem at all. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the end of life number eight. Uh, I hope you didn't enjoy it, but yeah, I hope you definitely enjoyed the start of life number nine. I think. Uh, I think we have a lot of opportunity here if I don't happen to uh, uh, munson it up here. Yep, looks pretty good. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in uh, life number nine, episode number two. Take care. Uh, leave a like if you want me to continue doing this. Leave a comment. Let me know which game you want me to play. Shelter or uh, Shelter 1 or um, uh, Darkwood. This is my secondary game. And uh, if you haven't already, I always appreciate a subscribe. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.